Far too much emphasis is placed upon chasing a number, the PSA, and way too little emphasis is placed upon preventing the disease from spreading. Those are two separate phenomena. They roughly correlate, but it's not inevitable. High PSA does not mean that you have prostate cancer. The Tulsa procedure was done. The men had an ablative therapy performed. By the way, all the men had either mild or moderate risk disease. These are not men with really ominous looking disease. And the prostate glands were relatively small. In this study, 12 months later, 35% of the men still had cancer. All right, at least 65% didn't have evidence of it, but 35% did. That's not really a high level of success if you're going through an expensive, potentially hazardous procedure. Yes, oftentimes this is not insurance covered. 25% of the men had erectile difficulty after the procedure. So it's not benign. Is it less traumatic than a prostatectomy? Yes. Is it less traumatic than radiation? It is. But is it worth doing? Those are separate questions. In this study, they did not compare it to a placebo. 